Well, hi everyone. I'm Han Xin. The paper I will present today is the influence of contrary information and mitigating four factors. Can you hear me, Professor? Very well. And you can do fifteen <laughs> minutes. You can do fifteen minutes if you want. Uh, no, I just want to give some time for other presenters. <laughs> okay. Uh, the topic of this paper to explore the influence of contrary information and mitigating factors on audit opinion decisions on back robbed companies. Well, this paper was published on the Journal of Accounting Research in 1997. Uh, well, in this presentation, I would like to use the framework what, why, and how to present it. I suppose that can be more consistent and logic. Well, firstly, we'll have a look at the research questions and the potential contributions of this paper. Uh, in other words, firstly, we need to clarify what's the research question, and then we should know why is it important. Only the important questions should we research further. Well, the research questions for this paper is for soon to be backrobbed companies, mainly due to financial distress. After controlling the probability of bankruptcy, will the use of contrary information and mitigating factors have impacts on the going concern modification decision? Well, you may ask me what's the contrary information and what's the mitigating factors. As for the contrary information, it includes information which questions the client's continued existence, like default on debts, which means that perhaps the corporation has some difficulties in education, in inequality, so we can concern that this client has some problems in the continued existence. As for mitigating factors, that include information which partially offset the contrary information, like good news publicly issued before audit report date. For example, if a corporation issues that, they will develop some very good and very advanced products for their customers. This good news can make the auditors have evidence, confidence that this corporation have capabilities to weather the financial distress at the moment. Well, why this research question is important? In other words, in other words, we should explore the potential contributions of this paper. Uh, well, to my understanding, this paper actually systematically uh, explore the impacts of multiple country and mitigating factors on the insurance of the modif modified going concern decision. Uh, as for the previous literature, they basically explore one or two country and mitigating factors effects on the modified going concern decision. So this paper, you uh, explore several and multiple country and mitigating factors. They do it in a more system systematic and comprehensive way. Uh, these factors include size, audit report, and bankruptcy lags and events that occurred after the audit report was issued. After knowing the what and why, uh, let's focus on the how, which means that we should look at a methodology utilized by the author, how the authors resolve the research questions, and can we get some heuristic features from this paper? Uh, first thing, let's look at the model components and sampling. Well, basically, this paper uses a logistic regression. Uh, we all know this kind of regression. Uh, in this regression, the dependent variables uh, is a binary variable, uh, which is the going concern opinion. As for the independent variables, we'll mainly pay attention to the important uh, predictors. Uh, firstly, the most important uh, independent variable is the probability of bankruptcy. Uh, this variable was estimated from a logistic regression model with, the, with independent variables, including key financial ratios, like the ratio of the uh, net income and the 
total assets, it also includes some other variables like size, mild events, uh, mild positive events before the audit report date, and some other variables. Uh, as you can see, size and payment default are also the variables uh, included in the logistic regression uh, using the going concern opinion as uh, uh, dependent variables. The author would like to explore the effects of the size and the mild positive events before the audit report date and so on. Uh, he wants to uh, explore the effects of these variables when controlling the probability of bankruptcy. This is his purpose. Uh, the second important variable uh, is whether it's a big six auditor or not. Because uh, the previous literature in this aspect is really mixed. Hence, you can say that no hypothesized sign is made. Uh, the next important variables, um, including several events, why the auditor's opinion could not have been influenced by after news reports, the opinion may have been affected by the auditor's inspections about the events in these reports. In other words, perhaps some auditors can develop some inspection models to predict the forthcoming events after the audit report. And perhaps this kind of expectations or anticipations can affect the auditor's decisions on the going concern opinion. Well, let's talk a little bit about the sampling and data source. One of the data is about the backrobbed companies. Uh, this paper identified the backrobbed company uh, mainly through the All Street Journal Index, and they access the um, data, the financial data about these companies through the Compute State database. Uh, another kind of data utilized by this paper is audit. Uh, the authors access uh, this kind of data mainly from the 10K reports, and there is a database called NAARS. Um, now we have a basic idea about uh, what is the research question, why is it important, and uh, how the authors do to resolve the research question. Then we'll just look at the empirical results and do some uh, analysis to see whether these results and the findings can give us some profound insights in this aspect. Uh, well, first thing, let's look at uh, table three, the empirical results. We'll still focus on the uh, estimated coefficients of important variables. As you can see, the probability of bankruptcy, audit report lag, and the bankruptcy lag, um, the coefficients are significant, and they have significant explanatory power in the predicted directions. These results are actually very understandable, and they are consistent with the previous literature. Then let's look at the size. Um, Actually, the previous literature about the impacts of size is really mixed. This, uh, in this paper, as you can see, uh, the size is negatively significant. Um, in other words, uh, in other words, uh, uh, the larger kind, the smaller the probability, the opinion will be modified. Uh, I suppose this is maybe because auditors have larger confidence on the big clients, because auditors believe that these kind of big clients have enough capabilities to weather such kind of financial distress at the point. Uh, in this case, size actually performs a function as a mitigation factors. Um, then we'll look at some um, defaults on bets for rebels. Uh, as you can see, the payment defaults and the uh, covalent uh, defaults are positively um, associated with uh, uh, with the decision of going concern, modified going concern. 
Um, but this this effect cannot observed on the cured defaults. Um, finally, we will look at some effects of the events. Uh, as you can see, the extreme negative events occurring before the audio report date are significant, while those occurring after the audio report date are lot. Uh, a lot associate a lot significantly associated with the decision of going concern opinion. In other words, we can see that perhaps auditors do not have um, a specific logic set or specific technologies to develop the action model to anticipate the forthcoming events, and these kind of factors are not incorporated in their decision. Uh, process. Um, also, it's interesting that we look at the positive news, positive events, and mild positive events. We can see that the effect of this kind of variable is a lot significant, possibly because auditors are conservative and they use only information believed to have a material impact on the company, like the extremely negative news. So finally, also did the additional analysis. Uh, it add a variable which represents for the um, default related Wall Street Journal news events, which were also reported in the footnotes. And finally, he find that the coefficient of this newly added variable is significant, which means that there exists some uh, incremental effects of the reporting of the default. Fault items in the footnotes. Uh, finally, we'll do conclusion. Uh, let's review the research question again. This paper is actually try to explore after the countering the bankruptcy probability, which is used by the logistic regression to predict the bankruptcy probability. Will the use of control information and mitigating factors have impacts on the going concern modification decision? Well, the answer is yes. The significant effect of control information items, um, like uh, extremely negative events, occurs after controlling the uh, bankruptcy probability, which suggests that the auditors still consider factors unrelated to the bankruptcy. As for the mitigation factor part, we can observe that some items are not significant, like the positive events and the minor positive events before or after the auto report date. Perhaps because of the attitudes, conservative attitudes, they would like to use some uh, more obvious, pronounced information to make the decisions, like the extremely negative. Uh, negative events, and also the author did additional finding about the size sensitivity. They find that the size effect persists after controlling the bankruptcy probability. Uh, some other variables, including the debt defaults, uh, they find that the size factor actually performs the function of mitigation factor, which means that. The authors really have larger confidence for the big clients. They believe that they can use some other strategies, like the development of new products, to help themselves to weather such kind of financial distress. Uh, and also, I want to add the point about uh, uh, empirical results of this paper. Uh, as you can see, uh, this table, table three, and other tables um, only reports the some test statistics like the p-value or incremental um, score. Um, however, um, I suppose that it can be better to report the confidence interval, which can better measure the uh, size effect of a specific variable. Uh, that's all. Thank you. So, guys, what do you think? No one thinks anything? Dong, what do you think?
Are you there? Uh, so are you asking me? <laughs> no, I'm asking a dog what he thinks. Okay. A dog. Um, go ahead. Uh, could you, could you uh, give me one second? I, I currently don't have any <laughs> ideas about this. So what do you think? The reason I'm asking you is this is a typically a financial accounting related problem, which is a prediction of bankruptcy. And uh, uh, basically a going concern is a prediction of uh, bankruptcy and kind of a self-fulfilling uh, prediction of bankruptcy. If a company goes going concern, it's probably more likely that to go bankrupt than if it hadn't had that opinion. What is your opinion on that? I do. Um, so uh, I was wondering, is this research using machine learning to predict the bankruptcy rate? I don't go and read the paper and then we'll talk about um, Andrea, you had a comment. You are locked. Your sound is off. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's on now. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I was just off. yeah, I was just gonna say it reminds me a little bit of um, uh, a paper I um, um, discussed uh, a couple of lectures ago. It's about the self fulfilling prophecy. So I think it was interesting to see. Uh, this analysis as well. It's just because um, uh, I'm I'm interested as to how uh, our uh, I guess our ideas that are influenced and ends up by my other comment earlier in the discussion. But I, I was just going to say it, it's interesting to see which data people are looking at to to um, think about um, to, to to process really what they understand. And I didn't, have any anything substantial? I just thought it was interesting, and it just reminded me a little bit of of the other paper that I I talked about. Yeah. Um, anyone in the uh, not in the AIS group, but in the accounting group, would have a comment about what is the state of the art in bankruptcy prediction at this moment compared to how it was, or oh, maybe twenty years ago when this paper was published. I'm sorry, so, so, so that again, the question was? It was a question for basically the accounting students. Uh, the status of research on bankruptcy prediction is basically a finance accounting type of question. Has it changed in 20 years? I, I don't know. It's interesting to, uh, I really, I'm, I'm not sure how that's uh, happening today. So, it'll be. Um, I know. Uh, Previously, they are using F score to make prediction about bankruptcy. I don't know what they are doing now. The F score is based on to predict a restatement. Yeah. Well, F score is uh, predictive of different of these things that are kind of looking at the future based on some empirical data. But I, uh, I am going to ask my own question. The way I, I, I noticed is uh, certainly the models of bankruptcy prediction became much more complex uh, and they became uh, much more encompassing in variables. But the basic line of research hasn't changed very much. Um, this idea of bankruptcy prediction is very, very important in, uh, uh, in many of the kind of financial management, uh, portfolio management. Uh, areas and I, it always surprised me how people never really went into what I call uh, pseudo bankruptcies. Basically, looking at companies that that basically were taken over to avoid bankruptcy, companies that did uh, uh, kind of substantial change of ownership uh, and became subsidiary to avoid bankruptcy and etc. And I know that data is difficult to get, but it always impressed me. Uh, that they haven't, uh, that the research hasn't gone in that area more. 